week you may be wondering why am I talking so much about running well that's because our new theme of the month is 5k run the race and we're learning all month long about commitment commitment is making a plan and putting it into practice if you want to run a long race like a 5k or a 10k or a half marathon or a full marathon or a triathlon it takes commitment. The training, the cross training, the training of the cross. Wait, I may be getting things confused here. But you run in the heat, you run in the cold, you run in the rain, you prepare for all situations. But there's some things that you may not even think about that you need to prepare for so that you'll be ready to run a race. Like, what if you're running along, <laughs> oh yeah, I'm doing great, and all of a sudden you notice your shoe's untied. How do you bend down to get it without like people tripping and falling over you. These are the things we need to practice, people. Also, what about when you're like running along and you get to the water table and there's like the cup of water for you and you go to reach for it and you miss it, you fumble and the cup falls out of your hand and you miss it. The water station can be a dangerous place, my friends. <sighs> well, don't worry. That's why I am practicing today with my cups. You guys know I love playing with cup stacking. So I thought maybe today I could show you some of my cup stacking skills. Oh yeah. The trick to cup stacking is making sure you have a good sturdy foundation. When you're putting your cups together, a common mistake is to have your cups be spaced too far out. See these bad boys? They are too far apart. Then when you go to stack your other cups on top, they're barely hanging on, and then it's really easy to have a fumble or a slip. You don't want that. So the thing you can do to make sure that that doesn't happen to you is make sure your cups are tight together that you have a good sturdy foundation before you stack your cups. Today's story has to do with sturdy foundations too and making plans to make sure that your house is on solid rock. But before we get into that, let's Stand to our feet together and let's worship God. Your plans for me are good. You hold my future. You're working all the time. You're the mountain mover. From sunrise to sunset till the sun comes back up again. You're by my side. And then 
to grow, kids new. You can use. I'm Bella Esther, and this is my assistant, Joshi. May is a mountain of many things. May the four be with you. Teacher Appreciation Week, Cinco de Mayo, Mother's Day, 5K, Grad Sunday, and sign ups for summer camp. Whoa, 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 let's slow it down. Well, Star Wars Day, may the four be with you. No, 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 let's focus on just church events. Sunday, they might, might is Mother's Day. We will be celebrating our mamas with fun cra crafts and kids' church. Who oh, in our pops bags? Not to interrupt, but pop, pack it on the porch. Pop, 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 pop. and leftover pops. Pick them up on the center house porch. Don't waste food. Don't waste crafts. Pack crowds thing. On Mother's Day, we would have the out outdoor photo booth. Try to smile, pretty for. Friday, May Shepherd Christian School is hosting a race. Do the half mile or one mile fun run, 5K or 10K race. Sign up and get more info on shepnaz.org. I'm doing the 5K. Sunday, May 16th is Grad Sunday, the day that our church celebrates people who are graduating. What does that have to do with us? Well, Kids Church is going to move that day. We'll be in the FLC or the big gym. There will be plenty of signs, but we wanted to make sure you know about it. This m month is time to sign up for Kids Camps. West Virginia Primary Camp is June 14th to 18th. It is open to, to people, students, to first through third grade. That means us! Okay, my first time. And my last time. Other camp option is the Kubik Family Camp. A one night camp for your whole family. Parents and kids stay together. All kids should be in at least kindergarten. For more information, go to Shepnaz.org. Don't forget to read your Bible in a year. Remember this month we're gonna got commitment. Making a plan and putting it into practice. We need you for Grow Kids News. And that's your picture. Now it's time for a shout out. Every day shout out is for you. And you and you and you and you and you. Everyone, thank you. Monday morning, I've been running. It's just begun. A brand new day, no time to waste. Gonna get it done So many plans, so much to do But that's okay, I'm gonna see it through Cause day after day And time after time I'm gonna do what I say I made up my mind I follow through Don't you forget it Oh yeah, it's true You know I'm committed I follow through Don't you forget it Oh yeah you know I'm committed Gonna make a plan, I know I can See it to the end Every moment I keep on it Do the best I can I won't give in, I won't give up No, gotta give my all Like, 
subscribe and share. That's all for today. See you next time. Wait, we need to go do the outtakes. Today's outtake is us. Thanks, guys. Now be silly. I'm going to go run a man. No, 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 what? Focus on just church event. It's amazing, the food. Okay. You're here for COVID 19. That should be in the outtakes. Okay. Yes, well, you say it. He said what he didn't do. I can't see you. I'm about to do something funny for our take. Hello? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Why are you still running? Why are you running so slowly? Is it me? It's him, right? I already won! And welcome to the so-and-so show. Brandon, do you want to tell everyone out there what we're doing today? Sure. John is training me in the first and final annual blindfolded nose recorder three-legged race. So, it's pretty much what it sounds like. It Brandon is. and I are entered into a three-mile race tied together at three the leg, miles. blindfolded, uh, while playing the nose recorder. Yes, but I've never played the nose recorder before. Hey, no fear, my friend. I will be here to guide you every step along the way. Okay, why don't you give them a little taste of your musical prowess? Oh, well, I shall. There we are. <clears throat> Thank you. <laughs> Thank Beautiful. You. All, right. all right, let's get started. All right, all right. First step. 
Take your nose recorder and place it in your nostril. Okay. Okay, I got it. Now, what makes a nose recorder different than a normal recorder? It's played with your nose. Uh, Come on, focus. Okay. 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 Does that feel comfortable? Define comfortable. All right, I'll take that as a yes. Now, give it a nice big... Okay. Oh! No, no, okay. Hold on. Put your fingers here. All right, just like that. Where? where? Yep, yep. Like yep, that's that? right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Go again. Go again. Go again. <laughs> No, no, not there, not there, not there. You gotta cover the. There's a hole underneath with your thumb I, I and a hole on that. top. No, got, no, no, I got it. Listen. No, 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 That's no, what I'm... no, 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 no. It's like this. Even. No, no, no. You're not listening. Just stop that. Stop that. That's... What? What are you doing? I was getting it. No. Please welcome someone who knows stuff. <laughs> Uh, hey, Hans, welcome back, man. Okay, so uh, we know who he is, but just in case, why don't you tell them who you are and what you know? Hello. Guten Tag. My name is Hans Decibel. I am the expert in all things auditory. Mm -hmm. Auditory? Yeah, this is correct. Auditory. With your ears. Yeah. Well, Hans, the reason I asked you here... Ha! Here! Ha! Ha! Oh. <laughs> I hear what you did there. <laughs> Please continue. Oh, uh, yeah, the reason I asked you... Here! Oh! <laughs> 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 uh, the reason I... Uh, that you are at this place at this moment in time mm -hmm. is I'm trying to train Brandon for a race and he's not listening to me. So can you help me out with this? Ah, uh, yeah. Oh. I understand your problem. I can help with this. To train the ears, one must do important listening exercises. Oh. I will train you now. Deine first exercise will involve me saying a sentence and you must repeat it after me. Oh, that sounds easy enough. While wearing headphones, playing white noise in your ears. Oh, wow. Yeah, oh. wow. There are many distractions in our world. We must train our ears to hear through the noise. And yes, you at home can play as well. Listen carefully and see if you can hear what are the words I say. Headphones on! Oh, headphones on. This. They're good. Do you know what I said, Brand? I don't think so, but I'll try. I, a famous friend of spaghetti has spaghettos. <laughs> Nine. No. Jan? A famous chunk of spaghetti was found in the snow. Nine. Oh. Also wrong. The sentence first. A single strand of spaghetti is called spaghetto. Oh. You were so close. I was. Nine. No. Not close at all. For our next training exercise, I will play an audio recording of three completely different words being said at the exact same time. Ah, mm. All right, bring it on. Let's do it. Headphones on. Okay. These Please. Connected to that. Are you ready? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let us begin. Basket chair. Right. No, can we? Yeah, can you play it again? Yeah, I can do this. Basketball. Uh, okay. Brand? I think it's basketball, spaceship, and uh, dinosaur? Nine. No. She's wrong. Okay. Uh, I, I think it's basketball, uh, learn to share, and... Nine. Okay. This is wrong. What do you think it was? I can't hear you. Louder? No, they don't. They, they, you won't. Nine, I can't hear you. The right answer was newspaper, rocking chair, basketball. Oh, oh we got one. That's hard. Your ears are still not trained. Mm. 
for our final exercise, we will need this. Okay. Here are the rules. I will show Jan a word. You will both step up to the aquarium. You will dunk your heads under the water. Jan will yell the word to you. Uh, oh, okay. 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 All right. Step up. Oh, oh, oh. Here is the word. Oh boy, okay. Here we go, ready? And are you ready? Oh, yeah. Okay, in three, two, one, go! Was it sunscreen? Yeah! yeah. You are making progress, Brand. Did you get it too? Uh -huh. I can't hear you. Louder. I can't ever hear them. Okay. okay. So the next word. Uh, okay. Ready? Yeah. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Is it pineapple? Oh, uh -oh. nine. Wait, wait, the wait. answer is platypus. Oh, oh platypus. Okay. Yeah. That's a hard one. But good job on the first one. Thank you. Did you get that one? Platypus? I still can't hear some. That's all right. That's all right. Okay. The final clue. Okay. Okay. Okay, ready? Yeah. That's good. Go. <laughs> I know this one. It's Bible story time with Kellen. Huzzah! Hey, Kellen. Fellas, you got a story for us today? Sure do. One of Jesus' disciples, Matthew, wrote down a famous sermon Jesus gave that we know today as the Sermon on the Mount. Now, the Sermon on the Mount had a lot of famous quotes from Jesus. Things like, you are the light of the world, love your enemies, and when you give, don't let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. At the end of the sermon, Jesus told a story about a wise builder and a foolish builder. And here to help me tell the story are my friends Becky and Bethilda. After his sermon, Jesus said, So then, everyone who hears my words and puts them into practice is like a wise builder. All right. Oh, that's good. Okay. That's really good, too. Hey, this, is, this is a really good house. Where should I build it? Let's see. Mm, I can't really see the ground, so yeah. Sand. Eh, that'll never work. Perfect. Okay. So the person who hears what Jesus says and does what Jesus says is like a wise builder who builds their house on the rock. Then there's the foolish builder. All right. Yeah, sure. Uh, oh, this is a good house. Yeah, definitely. Hmm. Now, where should I build it? Nope. Too many trees. Too rocky. Hmm. This is nice. Take a look at this perfect beachfront property where you can build your next dream house, complete with views of the ocean on three sides. Why hasn't anyone built here before? We don't know, but their loss is your gain. Get it today for half price. Half price? Is there something wrong with it? Nothing's wrong with it. Would I lie? So Jesus said, the person who hears what he says, then doesn't do what he says, is like a foolish builder who builds their house on the sand. Both kinds of builders know how to build their houses, 
But what matters is the foundation. Because Jesus said, when the rain comes down, when the water rises, and then winds blow and beat against the houses, the house built on the sand will fall with a loud crash. But the house built on the rock will not fall. Oh no! I really should have built on the rock. The end. Great story, Kellen. I'm gonna go build a house today on a strong foundation. Okay, but the story really wasn't about building houses. Oh, right, it's about hearing what Jesus says and not just hearing his words, but actually putting them into practice. That's how you build on a strong foundation. Why? Oh, I think you've got it. Thanks, Kellen. Whew. No doubt. I'll see you guys next time. Uh, yeah, later. You know, John, it's a good thing that Hans was here earlier to train me how to listen. Oh, yeah? Hey, you're ready to take another stab at the nose recorder? No, but... Shh. Uh, what are you... If I'm gonna do what God says, first I have to hear him, right? <laughs> right, but I, I'm not sure that's how it works. Oh, how does it work? Uh, like this! Reveal the question! Oh, how can you hear from God? Oh, yeah, can you hear God speak to you out loud in a deep, booming voice? Or maybe you hear God when you read the Bible? The Bible has all kinds of wisdom and words from God. Or, or maybe you hear God through a teacher or a friend or through nature. Yeah. Or... I think there are a lot of ways that you can hear from God. Yeah, so talk about it with each other. How can you hear from God? And we'll see you next time on The So-and-So Show. Bye. This sweet song go, that's how it goes, oh, oh, that sweet no solo, it sounds so sweet, oh, so In some ways, we have it easier than ever to hear from God. We have our Bible. We can pray and talk to God anywhere, anytime. We need to practice hearing from God. And that's our bottom line for today. Practice hearing from God. Say it with me. Practice hearing from God. The Bible helps us to know what God wants for us. It helps us to make wise choices. It helps us to live the best version of ourselves. And it also helps us to grow in relationship with God. If you don't have a Bible at your home, make sure you let your teacher know, or your small group leader, or your mom, or your dad, or whatever is the adult that's in your room. Let them know that you need a Bible, and they can let me know, and we can make something happen. Because we want everyone to be able to hear from God including you. Hearing from God is a really important part of our training plan for life. What's one way we can hear from God? By praying. Let's do that together. God, we thank you that you love us so much that you have your word that teaches us how important it is for us to build our lives on you. We know that we need to practice hearing from you we need to make wise choices. We can make wise choices when we're doing what we're supposed to, reading our Bible and praying, hearing from you and speaking about you and praying to you and talking about you. God, please help us to do those things so that we can train for life. Amen. If you remember, last week we talked about the four things you need to do to run the race of life. Remember, the first thing was hear. Hear from God. The second thing was pray. Pray to God. Third, talk. Talk about God. And last, live. Live for God. God loves us so much and he wants to have a strong, sturdy foundation of a great relationship with you. We need to do our part. Well, that's all that we have for today, friends. We'll see you next time. Bye!